Can Canadians flip real estate in the United States virtually without ever having to go there? That is the topic of today's video. We're going to peel back some of the layers on that and discuss how it's done and if it's possible. My name is Dustin Hahn and we do five to 10 deals per month. We do a lot of them virtually and as a Canadian, we know the ins and outs of how to do this. So let's go ahead and let's dive in. So first off, why would a Canadian want to do American real estate? Well, the answer is pretty simple. These days, the average home price in Canada is like 700,000 bucks. So it's just through the roof. Like to buy an investment property, in my opinion, in Canada is just a waste of money. And here's why. We do a lot of our investing, well, all of our investing in the US, right? So a home in Canada for 700 grand, so call it, you know, 550 USD, um, I can go ahead and I could probably buy 10 houses for 50,000 bucks a piece with the same amount of money that's going to get me one property in Canada. So for example, a $700,000 house, maybe you'll get two grand a month for rent on it on the high side of it. Whereas in the US, all day long, we figured out how to find property for 40 to 90% below market value. Like a bread and butter deal for us is a $100,000 house for 50,000 bucks that can rent out for $1,000 per month. So you have a $700,000 house in Canada that maybe gets you two grand a month versus in the US, you're taking that same money and you're getting 10 properties for 1,000, 10 grand a month. So it's pretty simple math and it makes a lot of sense to do and find those properties. So the challenge is a lot of Canadians are scared of the unknown, right? Like, oh, can this really be done? This sounds too good to be true. If this is so good, why isn't everybody doing it? It's gotta be some sort of scam or something like that. But I can tell you it's not. The problem is most people are living in a bubble and they're just so afraid to get out of that. So in, uh, in Canada, information on property is really hard to get. So for example, things like delinquent taxes, delinquent utilities, like gas, water, sewer, electricity, pre-foreclosures, all of that information is very difficult to find when you're Canadian living in Canada, right? And then from there, contacting homeowners is difficult. You need a real estate attorney, all this sort of stuff. There's just so many hoops to jump through when you're doing this in Canada versus in the States, public information is super easy to find. You can, there's 3,300 counties. You can pretty much go into any county and pull lists of tax liens, delinquent taxes, out of state owners, high equity homeowners, foreclosures, pre-foreclosures, um, all sorts of things, code violations. And these are all people that have pain points. And the nice thing is the population in the US, you know, 300 million versus 39 million. So there's 10 times the volume with combined, that information is much easier to find. And on top of that, in the US, what you can do is you can do a skip trace. You take the person's first name, last name, and property address, and you can actually get the person's cell phone number, and you can cold call them, or you can send them a text message, which is extremely efficient. And a lot of that, well, to be fair, I don't even think you can do that in Canada, um, just because it's, it's different, right? So that's why we don't do any deals here or 100% uh, in the US. So the answer to your question is yes, Canadians should be doing this if you wanna make money in real estate. Now, another benefit is in the US, it's very simple to wholesale property, which wholesaling is when you get the contract on a property and you assign it and you make you know 10 to $30,000 USD cash and you don't have to buy the property. Now, it can be done. I've actually wholesaled a couple deals like almost 20 years ago back in the day in Edmonton, but it's just so much more cumbersome and bulky in Canada. And the nice thing is with the technology we have these days in the world, uh, you can do this stuff virtually, which is great. Uh, by the way, if you like this information, hit the subscribe button. We always have lots of uh, information. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask that in the comment. We'll be happy to uh, reply to your comments. So those are some benefits. Uh, I think the list of benefits drastically outweighs uh, the risk. And really, what is the risk? If you do a wholesale deal, remember, you're not buying the property, you're just controlling the contrast. Like if there's no other businesses that I can think of that are legal, where you can make 10 to $30,000 and not have to actually, you know, buy the property. 
when you think of things like Bitcoin or starting a traditional business where like 90% of them are gonna fail, with real estate, it's black and white. Now, if you're watching this, by this point, you're probably a Canadian. So the, the, the biggest thing to get over is going to be just kind of your own limiting beliefs and learning about a little bit of a different way of doing real estate. And what I can tell you is it's very simple, it's very straightforward, and it's very low risk. Like you don't need to go to the US, you don't need a bank account, you don't need a visa or anything like that. It can be done 100% remotely. Now, as far as the taxes go, that's pretty straightforward. If you make money, you'll pay your state tax. And then from there, you're not paying personal income tax in the US. You'll send the money to Canada. You'll sort it out up here. And that is a huge, huge benefit. So to answer the question, Canadians should absolutely be doing US real estate. It just doesn't make sense, in my opinion, to go ahead and really buy anything in Canada because the prices are so high and you can just get so much more in the US. And the example that I gave you earlier is like average home price, 700 grand. What's that gonna make you per month here in Canada? You know, compared to like the 10 grand a month you could be making off of that same deal. And in the US you can do subject twos, which is where you can take over the existing mortgage on a property and not have to qualify for it. Um, another benefit is you can deed property. So some of, the, some of the most money we've made on deals are in tight time crunches. So for example, we had this one property, we contacted the homeowner on a Tuesday, it was going to the tax deed auction on a Wednesday. So what we did is we sent somebody to take pictures, we sent uh, somebody we knew and trusted with uh, $10,000 and gave it to the homeowner. And then we did a quit claim deed, we own that property. We had a mobile notary meet us at the property. And then from there, we paid the taxes right away. And this was like a $100,000 property for like 10,000 bucks. Now that's an advanced deal. And we show people how to do that from start to finish. But if you're just getting started, wholesaling is a great way to go about it. And I recommend picking a place maybe you've been before, maybe you have some friends or family there, but ultimately that doesn't matter. You just need to have a will and want to do it. So if you want help and you want to learn how to do that, below this uh, video is a, a link to a video called How to Buy Property for 40 to 90% below market value. And we actually break it down more in depth for the Canadians. So that's totally free. Click the link, check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.